Okay, here we are, Introduction to Construction and Woodworking. Uh, chapter 10 is Percents. This is a notation for percents. Being able to go decimal to percent and fractions is a good skill to have. Um, our objectives here are find any percentage of any given number, determine the percent that is part of a whole, and calculate the total amount when given principal rate and time. Okay. So the sign for percent is this, and a percent sign um, is a part of a whole. So if I have 50%, what I'm saying is that's the same as 50 of 100 parts. So it's 50 of 100 parts, which is the same fraction as 1 half. And if I want to convert that to a decimal, the way I remember it, this is like a little arrow pointing that way. And I take the decimal and I move it over one, two places. So 50% is the same thing as 50, and then I move over the decimal two places, so 0.50. So 0.50, 50%, one half, are all the same thing. Okay, the basic formula for percent is the part is equal to the percentage times the whole. Okay, so the part I'm looking for is whatever percent times the whole. So I, as an example, if I want to know what 3% of $100 is, that's the whole, that's the percent. The part is I convert this to a decimal, I go over 1, 2, 0 0.03 times 100, and that gives me $3. Okay. Different example is uh, if I had uh, the part, let's say the part is 10, and I want to know what 50% times the whole. So if the part is 10, the percent is 50%, what is the whole? I would divide both sides by 50% or 0.5. Those would cancel. I divide this by 0.5, and I could see that the whole is equal to 20. So the whole would be equal to 20 times 50% to get the part that's half of that, or 10. The whole is also called the base. The percent is called the rate. And the part is called the percentage. Okay, so it's really the same equation here. Another term for the whole is the base, the percent is the rate, and then the percentage is the part that you're getting, say. So as an example, let's say the percentage is 300, the rate is 35%, and the question is, what is the base? So what is the base? I'm gonna divide both sides by 0.35, divide this by 0.35, divide this by 0.35, so 35%, 0.35, cancel. So then I could see that the base, I have to use my calculator for this, the base is 300 divided by 0.35, which is 800 and, wait a second. Percentage is 300, the rate is 35, what is the base? That's correct. So I'm going to divide this, so the base is 857. Yeah, so if what you're getting is 300 at a 35% raise, I started with 857. So 857 times 35% is 300. So I have to have any of the two to find the third. Okay, um, let's just look at one more equation here as percents. We're just going to take a look at interest. So in interest, um, we're just going to do simple interest, and simple interest, actual interest that the bank charges you is compounded continuously, but this is going to be simple interest is equal to the principal, the amount of money, times the rate that you're paying on that money being borrowed, times the time in years. Okay, so how much interest do I pay if I borrow $1,000 at 
at 5% times 10 years. I take 10, multiply 0.05 by 10 to get 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 1,000 is 500. So how much interest do I pay on $1,000 over a 10 year span at a 5% interest rate? And I, I could do it uh, as long as I have, you know, three of these four variables, I could solve any equation, okay? Uh, interest and percents are key to understand in any sort of construction site. Building a house requires the ability to determine the percentage of materials used, purchased, and um, you got to be able to work with percents, decimals, and fractions.